Okay, I'll just ask Andrea to um, read the public question. We can take them and then I can see Councillor Black has her hand up and we'll bring her in. Okay, Andrea. Okay. Yeah, this is a question from um, Kevin Peel. Um, I really welcome the investment proposed for Hoyles Park, which is much needed. Can I ask the Cabinet member to add in removal of graffiti in the play area to the programme, as it is quite bad and much of it is not suitable for an area where young children play? Can I also ask the Cabinet member to request that officers draw up options for the future of the pagoda, which has been abandoned for some years? In, is in a poor state of disrepair and is a hotspot for crime and antisocial behaviour, which many local residents have complained about. It would be my hope that redevelopment or removal of the pagoda could then be included in a future phase should funding become available. Uh, thanks, thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, the, the answer to that question from Mr Peel is I'm pleased to inform him that Hoyles Park is proposed to have a full scheme of improvements uh, starting in early 2021, along with the two other parks in East Bury, that's Old Mature and, and Manchester Road Park. Uh, so that's the three, Hoyles, Old Mature and Manchester Road Park. These schemes will be discussed later after during the Cabinet meeting when the Green Spaces report is considered. The removal of graffiti and improvements to the play area will be included. In terms of the pagoda, and it's in brackets, you shelter, this will be reviewed to ensure that we don't move a problem to other parts of the park or outside the park, but that we adopt a multi-agency approach to dealing with the issues of antisocial behaviour. So th thank you very much, Andrea. There is a supplementary um, question as well. Um, okay. can, can I also ask for an update on the plans for Clarence Park now the consultation has closed? We are yet to see the responses, but I know that residents are very keen to see investment to improve the tennis courts, secure the future of the skate park, plant new trees and a myriad of other improvements. Will the Cabinet commit to developing a master plan for Clarence Park in the coming months to form the basis of a funding package in the next phase of the Council's Parks and Green Spaces Capital Programme? Uh, thanks for that uh, question from Mr Peel. Uh, the answer is we have received a very good response to the consultation for Clarence Park and I have to pay tribute to Councillor Sandra Wormsley who, who, who was going around knocking on doors and, and uh, has driven this. Uh, so 602 surveys were returned with a 97% of residents indicating that they are users of the park. From the survey, we know that residents use their park for exercise, taking the children to play and to reduce stress. Also mentioned uh, was that it's important for the park to be safe, clean, welcoming, well maintained. Facilities such as a skate park and tennis courts were mentioned as needed improvement. Clarence Park is a high priority within our park strategy and subject to financial resources, we will be looking at an improvement plan for the park and we will be contacting um, park users who have expressed an interest to help develop our master plan for the park. Thank you very much. Okay, 